Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing adding and subtracting using base 10 blocks. We're going to be doing two problems, both an addition and a subtraction problem. And for this tutorial, you will need your place value mat with your hundreds, tens, and ones places. You will also need your base 10 set, which includes your ones, your one units, your hundred units, and your ten units. Now to do this problem, you need to place, to start with problem one, which is 237 plus 468, you need to place the units in the proper place. So in our ones, we're gonna go ahead and place seven units. So I have two here, four, six, and seven. In our tens unit, we know that there, in our tens place, you notice that there is three. So that means that they have three tens. So we're gonna go ahead and place three of our 10 units in that place. Next, you notice that we have two hundreds. So we have our 200 units. We're gonna go ahead and place in our hundreds section. Now we're going to go ahead and add 468. So we need to add eight units in our ones. So it's two, five, six, seven, I'm sorry, and eight. Next we need to add six tens in that place. So off camera, I did go ahead and add all the rest of the places. So we added our six to our tens, and we also added four to our hundreds. We only had two more of, no, we only had three more of the 100 blocks. So I went ahead and added 10 of the tens blocks because 10 tens equals 100. So you can go ahead and count all of this and then get your answer, but we're going to regroup. So we have seven and eight. We have one, two, three, four, and five, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen blocks in our ones. Being that we use base ten, we're going to go ahead and we do know that. 10 ones equals 110. We're going to go ahead and group 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So we're going to take that 10 off. And we're going to go ahead and add that 10 that we just took off into our 10s place. Now, we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten tens. So ten tens equals one hundred. Am I correct? Right. So we're going to take our ten tens and go ahead and shift over to our hundred. So we know that we have two sets of 10 here. 
So this is 100. Two hundred, and we know that each one of these blocks equals a hundred. So we have one, two, three, four, five blocks. So we have five blocks of these, and we have two hundreds of these. So this is five hundred plus two hundred, which will give us seven hundred. So our answer is seven hundred and five because of the five ones and we have no tens here because those tens went to the hundreds now we're going to subtract using our blocks we know that it's already set up for our top number which is 425 and we want to subtract 287 from that number. In order for us to do that, we're going to have to use our blocks to go ahead and subtract. So we need to subtract 7 from the 1's place. In order for us to subtract 7 from the 5, we know that we have to borrow. So we're going to borrow a 10 from the 10's. And that will give us 15 ones. So I'm going to go ahead and take my 10 ones and put here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now we can go ahead and subtract our 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 ones. Next, we need to subtract our 8 from our 2. Because we borrow a 10, because we borrowed a 10, we are going to borrow from our 100 because we cannot subtract 8 from 1. Reason it is going to be 8 from 1 because we borrowed a 10 from our 10's place. So that one needs to be made a 10, so we need to add a 10. So we're taking that two, and being that we took that one and gave us one 10, we're gonna make that 11. 11 minus eight is three. We do know that we cannot use the ones unit. So the value of the 3 is 30. That is the value of the 3. Because we borrowed and made the 2 a 1, because we did 15 minus 7, which gave us our 8, and 2 minus 8, we had to borrow that 1, so that gave us 1 minus 8, and we also had to borrow another 1 from our hundreds place, because it gave, and that gave us 11 minus 8, which gave us 3. 
Now that we borrowed that hundred, that left us with three hundredths. So three minus two is one. So our answer for our problem is 138. One hundred and thirty.